Hello, hello. Welcome to Coffee Craft. I'm your as broken as everything else host, Anon Jr. Sorry. Uh, it's It's been a day. So, uh, let, let's just jump into things that have changed since the last stream. Starting with... Down here. Uh, I believe it was... Friday? Yeah, because Games Revisited is on a brief break. Friday, I came and did a little work in the Guardian Farm. Since we keep getting all this COD that we were intending to trade with villagers, uh, I made a little cubby here and put some villagers in it. So we get about eight villagers I am mostly satisfied with the cubby. Um, mostly. Ish. I feel like there's something I really should have done with that border around the hole. Not sure what, but anyway. I might revisit that another day. All these guys have the raw cod trade. Uh, almost all of them have the salmon and tropical fish, as well as puffer fish. Although... While I was here working on some of that, I collected all the puffer fish that we had stocked up because I have other plans for the puffer fish. Uh, and <laughs> I was sitting here AFK hoping to get more before I realized that um, the chance of them dropping a, a fish, hang on, a hair or something right in front of the guard, and it's been that kind of day. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. I don't know where it is. All right. So anyway, these guys don't drop a fish unless it's a player kill. And it's a ridiculously low chance of them dropping a fish. And of the ridiculously low chance of them dropping a fish it's a ridiculously lower chance of it being a puffer fish tropical fish or salmon although it is weighted a little bit heavier towards salmon and tropical fish um it follows the same basic table as uh using a fishing rod there it is okay um it follows the same basic uh, table as a fishing rod, and having looting three gives you the best chance, but we're still talking less than 20%. So less than 20% of the guardians you, the player, have to kill uh, will get you a puffer fish. So I'm going to have to figure out some better way of uh, managing those guys before too long. Um, I just realized I forgot to say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Hello. Hello. I hope you're doing better than I. I've had my microphone muted, so you couldn't hear all the. Oh. Ah. Yeah. No. That was uh, that was me earlier, as my monitors decided to just uh, glitch out in in the middle of getting ready for the live stream. And so my main monitor, which has the game. Uh, showed the left half of the image, a stripe of the middle, and then another copy of the left half of the image. And, yeah, so I ended up having a reboot. <sighs> this is where all the puffer fish have been going. Uh, <laughs> while off camera, I've been trying to, to stock up the potion brewing facility, and I got all the melons stocked up. I got all the golden carrots stocked up. I've been working on the phantom membranes. So, we're getting there. All the redstone is stocked up. All the glowstone in this one is stocked up. We don't have enough nether wart to fully stock it, so I was deeply considering a nether wart farm. And I just Are realized you that... Sure? Huh? Are you sure we don't have enough nether wart? Do, do we have a hidden stash somewhere that I am unaware of? 
Did you check to see if I had any? No, because that is your storage. I didn't see anything in community storage, and I uh, how much emptied what I had in there. Huh? How much do you need? Uh, enough to finish stocking up all the uh, all the potion brewing stations. Yeah, I know. I just ruined my streak with killing these guys too. Oh well. I'll AFK for a little <laughs> bit, and then they'll be back. Ah. And what are you doing there? All right. So I got like, uh, here, let me just condense this down. Yeah, I got, so that'd be 9, 18, 19 stacks in a bit to go to finish filling up all the, all the dispensers. I'm away. Uh-oh. Do you have a secret farm somewhere that you, you've been... <laughs> it's not a secret, but it is a farm that nobody else seems to use. It's uh, manual. <laughs> well, uh, by their very nature, Netherwart farms have to be manual. There's no autom... You, you, you can't sick a villager on it, unfortunately. Uh, I kind of wish you could. What, what profession would have... It seems wrong to make a regular farmer farm nether wart too. Hey, Java. I, I appreciate your comfort. I don't appreciate you bumping the chair. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Um, I, de I, I don't like the nether brick. I think I'm going to go back to uh, lumber for the roof since I got lumber on the sides and I need to figure out a way to make the uh, make it pop a little bit more get a little more three dimensional into it although I was planning on extending this out another block or so and doing a stone brick trim but anyway that's that's not today's project I want to build a farm I don't need, I'm not even sure how much I care what kind of farm I build just Something. A full. There we go. Oh. And I need to find a place. Oh no. I need to find a place to put uh, some empty bottles around here too. I might. Might put a barrel right there. That wouldn't interfere with that. You know what? That sounds like a perfect idea. Early, thank you. Got the coffee. I just forgot to pick up the Irish whiskey. Because um, I'd like to have some place that we could put empty glass bottles for use in the farm as well. Also like to find where all my thoughts went. They're scattered hither and yon. I'm not sure where hither is, but I'm sure yon is over there. How are you doing? I don't think I actually have seen this uh, farm yet. Which farm? The one that you, the pushing brewing area. I, I think I built that Tuesday. It's just behind the iron farm. Uh, kind of tucked into the side a little bit. And I got a little water station here so you can fill these up with uh water to replenish the water bottles although I'm pretty sure yeah I got the water bottles all stacked dude that's amazing 
That's not all of them. That's just you, that's just the ones you said you needed. Uh, there we go. And you Thank you. Need your phantom membranes. Yeah. Phantom membranes and puffer fish were the last few things. You may have some of those laying around too. Uh, I know I dumped all the pufferfish and phantom membranes that I have over in my spot. Oh, and I also locked these <laughs> as part of the armor stand data pack that we have, so you can't accidentally turn these or move them around. Uh, accidentally, air quotes. Yeah, I also labeled everything because um, I have short-term memory problems, and I couldn't remember what potions they were. I mean, beyond remembering that phantom membranes are for slow fall, uh, I couldn't remember if that was healing or regen, uh, so I titled it all. So at a uh, at a button push, we get water breathing potions, healing uh, healing two potions, slow fall, and night vision. Yeah, I mean the design's repeatable, so if we wanted to expand it out and have more at the ready. We can always do that too. Did you need any um, any more empty bottles or filled bottles? Um, I mean, we could always put some more empty bottles in there, but I think we got enough in storage. And I know, I know, I've got the double chest of filled bottles ready to go. I think the only thing that I might want to do is get some more blaze powder and load these guys up with some blaze powder. I've got blaze rods. Huh. That, that, that's close enough. That's what you use to make blaze powder. Let's see what we had storage to while I was thinking about it. How's oh, two stacks of blaze powder? And let me, uh... That works. We can make that work. I need to. I need to go find that uh, double blaze spawner again, and maybe put together a uh, blaze farm there. Of course, I've been saying that about a lot of stuff, and it just hadn't been happening. What about the tears of a marshmallow? Uh, those potions are over in the nether. Oh, I'm so glad I bounced by that. I didn't realize I'd accidentally thrown my uh, netherite pick. I'd have been mad when that finally despawned. Yikes. I don't know if I have puffer fish. I, actually. You, you, you don't have any puffer fish? I think I might know where some are. Uh, you're no longer functional uh, AFK farm? Yep, and I have a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, it's basic, uh, same, same basic design as what we have in the nether, just different potions. I think in the nether we've got regen and health too. Because all the fire protection we keep getting from the piglin farm and we're getting more more fire protection than, than, than we're actually consuming. Because uh, we, we haven't exactly been spending a lot of time in the nether lately. Well, I never use potions anyways. Um... I do when I remember that they're there. It, it's one of those things that, that I, I tend to forget about. And when I really, really needed all the fire potions, like, I don't know, the initial netherite mining session, we didn't have the farm that gave us all the, all the things that would have made that a lot easier. Puffer fish are completely filled up. Ooh, sweet. You have all the phantom membranes that I had. I don't actually have a whole lot, but 
Yeah, I, I've been using the farm a little bit to, to take care of those guys. It was kind of nice a couple of days to just kind of lean back, queue up a bunch of vid uh, YouTube videos, and uh, let them roll. Where do I put the blaze stuff for you? Uh, just put them in the barrel in the middle for now. That's right. I came here for an item frame. Doesn't sound good. All right, there you go, sir. And dark oak. Okay. Farming acacia trees? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's not staying here, don't worry. No, no, no. I, I, I just saw a name tag through the farm, and I was like, what? And then I just saw a name tag amongst a whole bunch of shrubbery. I was like, uh... <laughs> it, it just... It, it took it took a minute. <laughs> Shall bring me a shrubbery. Oh, okay. Never mind then. I was about to top off the uh, the thing of pufferfish, but it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I left the uh, rest of it in a shulker inside the yeah little little barrel. <laughs> I've seen a couple of um, nether wart farm designs that I'm sorely tempted to try out, but I don't know. Let me finish this first. And I guess part of it is I don't entirely understand how they work. Uh, I'm watching the video and, and of course the explanation is an explanation of how to use it, not an explanation of how it works. And, and that's the part that I'm kind of like, uh, you know it would be really nice? An explanation of how it works. You know, kind of like a lot of the way Mumbo does this stuff. Um, a lot of the way he does this stuff now, for sure. He wasn't okay. always, always that, uh... <laughs> it wasn't always no, quite no, like I'm, that. I'm, I'm talking about the, hey, I just made an orbital bombarding station that mines <laughs> diamonds automatically <laughs> for you, and it works. And then he goes through and and spends five days flying showing you the entire contraption oh yeah and then press the button and it works and you're like um how how, how did you do that yeah what really kills me is when they do stuff like that 
and something doesn't go right and they walk into like the five miles of redstone and walk up to one block and say you, oh this is it you, you you're talking about that episode with tango tech aren't you yeah i've seen them do it more mail, than just that thing. no no no, no. i i i was wondering if you were talking about that episode where, where tango's working on uh testing out his among us in survival minecraft and something doesn't work and he goes oh yeah this repeater needs to be on three ticks not two well I, wait yes but <laughs> that's a good example but i've also seen several other people do it too iscal mumbo all of them it's like wow uh could you maybe explain why that's like that nah <laughs> ruins the mystery yeah something Well, since we have both of you on, uh -oh. hello, Medic, by the way, uh, what is your <clears throat> trivia question, off topic, but, you know, Shrubbery's brought it up, don't ask me how. Uh, because we demand another Shrubbery? No, actually, it's a topiary monster is considered a construct instead of a oh. plant. Oh, anyway. that was unexpected. <laughs> um, I, oh. Well, I just made a mess of things. I, I wasn't expecting the chest to become waterlogged in between each of these water sources. But anyway. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, what, pray tell, is everyone's favorite, if you can only have one, meta magic feat for 3.5? Oh. <laughs> Uh, you're asking the person who has done everything he could to stay away from meta magic for a long time. But yeah, I don't, I don't typically like it either. But I have a class now that allows me to meta magic a wand. So it's like, hmm, maybe, maybe I should, you know, okay, well, actually you, care. <laughs> yeah, you should, uh, you should definitely, uh, you know, tell people that before asking because I was going to tell you that my current character. <laughs> I love the ability to cast my primary spell, so hush hush, you know, without speaking. So silent spell was was very very nice. And you wanted something that would apply to when you're using a wand. Well, silent spell would. I mean, I could cast the wand silently. That'd be interesting. What's the level? On? Um. Do, I mean, do you need to make a noise to, to run a wand? I, well, I guess if it's a command word. No, because this is spell trigger, it, so I don't think you need. Is it inherently quiet? I'd have to look it up. I'd have to look it up. Well, I don't think it is. I'm like 80% sure it is. Okay. Uh, you don't have to take my word for it. It's in a well, book. I mean, you know, for a, for a <laughs> wand, depending on what type of wand you're you're talking about, uh, chain spell, ch chain spell, chain spell, <laughs> chain, <laughs> chain spell. You get that from Southern Theory. You know that one allows the uh, whatever you're casting at or using to affect other. Uh, targets other than your primary target um widen spell you know, like for instance if widen, you're using widen a... spell would be another one because that would double your range or the uh the uh, enlarge enlarge spell um enlarge your range okay. uh sorry widen is if it's a, a cone or something it yeah it's it a widen little chunky spell... Widen spell will double the area. So if it's an area of effect spell, it'll double the area. Okay. Uh, um, although, uh, Fell Drain and Fell Disable have been the two that I keep trying to work into various builds, but for one reason or another, it just never seems to work out where I, I get a chance to actually use it. Uh, if your wand is a buffing wand, you know, like bull strength, cats, grace, something like that, um, definitely extend a spell <laughs> and later on pick up persistent spell because you got to have extend spell first. 
um, extend spell will double the spell's duration, and then persistent spell gives the spell a duration of twenty four hours. So, Ooh. or depending so you, on you, depending you, on uh, yeah. Yeah, you can hit Bulwark with Bull Strength at the beginning of the day you know, with a persistent spell, and he's got Bull Strength for 24 hours. Yeah, I forget what the cost for it, though, is. I was about to it, say, what's the cost on that? Because yeah, that, that is the other part. The high. the reason why I kind of like Fell Drain and Fell Disable is that they're uh, pretty, pretty low cost in terms of how many extra slots or elevations or whatever you get to spend to... To, to uh, make it happen, make the magic happen. Extend spell, I don't think is th is that bad. I think it just requires level. You could also look into the sudden line from a uh, complete mage. I think it's complete mage. Might be complete arcane, uh, where you get sudden and large, and, and it allows you to do some of the meta magic without the change in level so many times per day. Um, I think Sudden Widen was on the list of things I was looking for for level 9. Simply because uh, some limited number of times per day you can widen a spell at no extra cost. Uh, so Extend Spell only requires uh, one slot higher level than the spell that you're using. So it would use two charges from the one instead of one. Yeah. And wow. Okay. And what's the other one that makes it twenty four hours? What's that add to it? Er, uh persistent spell. Oh, I have to look that one up. Hold on a second. Okay. Also, I don't know if you're gonna like this for the uh the village out here, but what do you think of one of those two uh, templates? Uh, hang on. I'm, I'm not you, in game yet. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're shifting. Ca I, I, I'm sorry, you skipped a gear in this conversation. Uh, could you shift a little more slowly, please? Oh, I'm multitasking. I don't know what you guys are doing. <laughs> I'm technically multitasking, but. Uh... Yeah. Okay, persistent spell requires a spell slot six levels higher than Oof. the spell's actual level. Seven charges from a wand. Mm. Ooh. But it would last 24 hours. True. But I mean, if it you know, lasts more than four, you're supposed to get a doctor. Hey, no. Uh... Hey, 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 we're talking about bull strength and stuff. Come on. Um, hmm. Now, for your okay. wand, for your wand, you know, it's, uh, th those are different. Uh, for, if you're just looking for something to uh, put meta, meta magic on to cast, innate spell is amazing because it allows you to use your spell as a spell like ability. Huh. Yeah. Well, I do have one spell-like ability, and I have a supernatural ability, and then I have incantations or whatever they're called for a, an artificer. Infusions. There you go. That word. There you go. Incantations. Infusion. That that, that reminds me. Incantations. I found... Are you kidding me? I don't know. I've read so much today, it's not funny. Oh, no. But anyway. I've been there. There's... I... There's a prestige class that allows you to make vanilla potions. Not cherry? No, no, no. Vanilla is like the generic term for it. Basically, it's like a base potion. It, it has no effect. It's like putting uh, nether wart inside the uh, the thing and you get the awkward whatever. Oh, that sounds awkward. Yeah. So what it is, is you make these, basically they're blank potions, and then you can infuse them. Hmm. So I could take a blank potion, you need, you know, healing, I could infuse it uh, as a standard action instead of whatever the infusion time would normally be, and then hand it to you to let you drink it. Likewise... If I know any sort of like thrown damage spell, like oh I don't know fireball, 
I could just infuse that into the potion bottle and chuck the potion bottle at you. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to prestige because I kind of like the idea of going 20 of Artificer. Yeah, Artificer is I one do, that can benefit from a level dip here and there, depending, or um, just going straight. It, it tends to benefit a little bit more from going straight. Exactly. So I may or may not decide to, you know, to make the prestige dip. But if I do, it's going to be enough to get that because that <laughs> just sounds hilariously funny. Oh, here, here's a healing potion. Oh, here's a here's a fireball potion. Have fun. <laughs> or one of the examples from the actual uh, the book it comes from states the. Uh, <laughs> Dragon's Breath potion. <laughs> mm. Basically, you just infuse it with Dragon's Breath and drink it and, you know, have a good old time. Nice. Well, enemy is not having a good old time. But, you know. I gotta see if I can dig up that Artificer build guide for some, uh, because hmm. it's got a few different, few different ideas that are worth looking at, too. Um, where's all those emeralds I tucked away in this storage? Is this like the pathway? Hmm? No, no, no. Actually, uh, so I had the I had an idea. Uh oh. Okay. Follow, follow me. Yeah, I'm with you. Where, where are you guys working? Or should I be worried? So no, we're on the shroom. So no. you got two teams. You got the 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 red team and the blue team, right? Okay. That's yeah. what the nightly news tells me. Yeah. Well, down here, you're going to have the the red team's housing area back over this way, you know, enjoying their little beach resorts and whatnot. And the blue team's over here on this side. And this oh, is kind of this is kind of like the dividing line. Say, so stay out of my property. <laughs> okay. Now that I know that uh, Nylium, Ny Nycelium won't cover these up. Mm -mm. It won't even cover up grass as long as the grass is already there. Yeah, it, isn't it just dirt that it covers up? Yeah, grass okay. and grass and uh, Mycelium will try to spread to dirt, but that's it. And this stuff here will spread to more, uh, whatchamacallit, if you bone meal it. What's it called? Nether rat. There. Nether rat? Another rack. Another rack? Yeah, another rack. Know. Yeah, the, the Nylium and Warp Nylium only expand to Nether Rack if you bone meal them. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, what'd you think of these two uh, templates? Do you like these or no? Yeah, I like those. Those look good. What, what is it for? I don't know. <laughs> to help you build? <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to come up with ideas for What's it, it for? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I like them. I like the colors. I got more of that acacia wood. Yeah. There's three more stacks of that wood in here. Okay. I don't know. I can get you more. Why is there a random bat out here? He was down in the cave. <laughs> so much I know. I find it interesting that neither of you said maximize. <laughs> uh, because it's just not worth it. Uh, for for the level spell that you're giving up, you, you've got a higher level spell that you could use that does as much or more. Well, that's for spells. I'm talking about well, for wands. Yeah. <laughs> well, even, even for wands, if you're going to burn that many charges... Uh, Isn't it just three? I get a total of four on burning. Yeah, still, it, it's not it's not a very good trade off. Huh? You know, especially if you're looking to do more damage. Then again, go back to fell drain or fell disable or something like that. Uh, one of them bestows a massive strength penalty, and the other one uh, bestows a negative level. They can only be used on damage dealing spells, but still. 
First off, Hello, I don't Beach want Duck. that anywhere near me. Hello, Beach Duck. Hello, Beach Duck. I accidentally take some strength damage, and I'm a dead man, so... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it, it, it explicitly calls out it can't kill. Damage to strength to zero is a kill. <laughs> yeah, no, it can't bring you down to zero. That's the okay. one where you got to get the higher level fell whatever's. Uh, okay. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, I only have, like, a five. <laughs> yeah. A for a uh, kobold with minus four strength out the gate. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I at least got rid of the light sensitivity without having to wear goggles. So that's um, good. And it, don't forget to look in the web errata. I, I think that's at the end of the PDF for Races of the Dragon because that includes mm. some updates to the stock kobold that make them a little bit better to play. Yeah, I already I already found that stuff. Okay. It was good. It gave him... Uh, a claw some... attack and a bite and... A couple other minor things. Two claws things. and a bite for a full round, for a full attack action. Yeah. Um, problem is, is my flaw is a uh, non uh, non melee combatant, so I take a minus oh. two if I try to go into melee. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to know what my other one is. Anyway, so my character's living up to his uh, his name. That's that's all I'm saying. Glass. No, I no, I I know, I know. No, but I, I, I was going to give medic the benefit of finding out uh, <laughs> when he finds out. Oh, sorry, no. Yeah, no, I've I've been chatting his ear off about it. Ah, because I, I couldn't remember if he was in the game that Glass was an NPC, and so. Uh, I don't think he, he was. He wasn't. He wasn't. We've already talked. <laughs> That, that's how he knows most of it is I'm trying to figure out if he was in that game or not. Be persistent or fell or extend. Yeah, there, there's okay. a couple of different that are in the fell line. Uh, fell drain and fell... Just, I just want you to remember that you're on the front lines mm -hmm. and these are coming past your head, so... <laughs> yeah, don't miss. I'm not taking any feet that would help me in that. <laughs> well, no, that, that's, why, that's why every time I look at that as a character that has magic missile, because a fell drain magic missile is just, like, awesomeness. Pure, unadulterated awesomeness. Uh, how do I want to do this? Okay. I'll do something else with that in a minute. Yeah. Jeff just realized that the pizza delivery guy was here. <laughs> he, he is suddenly very, very studiously attentive. <laughs> pizza? Uh, I don't even know that it's so much pizza as it is person. Like, like oh, there's somebody by the door, you say. Let me make sure they're good to be by the door. scaffolding out of storage too. I know we have plenty. Don't you know? <coughs> yeah, we go grab scaffolding and some slime blocks because they make excellent temporary blocks. <laughs> when you need, I, like, I just need to elevate this one block diagonal. All right, 
if I were Rayest, I would put scaffolding. Oh. Well. I would put scaffolding there, if there were any. Where did all the scaffolding go? Oh, oh, I never mind. I've probably all got it tied up in the in the chapel project. I'm gonna grab just a bunch of these. I'm about ready to chase down the slime chunks over by the Guardian Farm and uh, put together a slime farm over there too. I know you've got one over in the over by the Mushroom Base, but that's like a long ways away. This is, you know, right here. Hmm. Oh. I have temporary blocks and scaffolding, all right here. Hmm. Whoever would be that prepared? Not me, apparently. trying to find all of my I had a whole big old thing of um, bone meal and now I can't figure out where I put it uh, are you sure they're not the bone blocks that went into the chapel floor no 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 I brought I brought it with me out, out here to the oh okay okay I didn't realize you were talking about something you had already brought out of storage yeah, yeah it was out of my personal stuff That's all right. I need to go. Whoops! Make some more or get some more materials, anyways. Are you guys working on the uh, football field? No, I, not me. I'm working on the little. Um, oh, that's right. You were making some uh, villager huts over there, weren't you? Yeah, like a little village. Are you sure? I was, telling, I was telling Arcadius that I would love to uh, find the big mushroom island in the next season and just make that our big community center. Yeah, that's assuming that we have one too, because we are we are doing another random, literally random seed, um, and and, and so that's how we ended up with with uh, no jungle and. All, pretty much not much for a mushroom biome either. I just... That... I am... I, I, I am clearly speechless at how little of a mushroom a, and jungle we had in this particular seed. Mm -hmm. But here we are. I, I had to load up uh, one of the... One of the I forget which uh, I forget which website it was, but they help you plot out the world to figure out where the different chunks and whatnot are, because we had done how much traveling and did not come across a single a single uh, mushroom or jungle. Yep. Words. How do they work? <laughs> That's not going to work out. Okay. There we go. There we go. Might need to spend a little time farming a little more spruce. Oh, excuse me for a minute. I 
want a sharp incline and then a gentle decline on this. That much I know. Actually, I guess instead of a slab there, I'd want a block. What you're waiting for to join us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Outside, take a nap. Uh, naps are good. Speaking of naps, time to sleep. No, not yet. Almost. It still strikes me as so very, very odd that the time at which you sleep in Minecraft is 1833, precisely. That is the, literally the earliest you can go to sleep. I don't know, I slept earlier and it was pretty nice. In the game. Gonna lie, that does smell good though. That's, mm, that's a negative ghost rider. Right. Make the jump. Never mind. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Alright, 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 alright. He's just a day for bad ideas. Let's try this again. Where did Medic go? Uh, he had to step away for a minute. Ah. To where, I'm not entirely sure. Too. 
because that is, that's going to be spawnable. That's not. That's going to be spawnable. That's not. That's going to be spawnable. That's not. There we go. today uh i was gonna build a farm but then i got distracted by this building project and i kind of hate that in the announcement that i was going live i posted that i was going to work on a farm so i think as soon as i finish the outline of this roof I i'm gonna get to the actual building a farm gotcha. you know false advertising and all that wouldn't want to do that sort of thing Some of it believe there's going to be farm building happening. And no farms get built. People ask for the money back or something. What if the intent of the farm was there? The hope of farm or wish of farm? Yeah. Does that count? That probably works about as well as uh, wishing production numbers were about, you know. So for few future viewers now, I'm putting down these buttons to make sure nothing spawns on these blocks on top of the roof. So nothing can spawn on the stairs, nothing can spawn on the bottom slabs, but on top of these blocks and those blocks and those blocks, uh, critters will be able to be there. And I'd rather not have a critter drop on my head while I'm trying to make potions. here that's antithetical to surviving. A bit. I mean, I guess nobody expects the Spanish Creeper. But I gotta say that with a British accent. That would be pretty. If you could put, like, the, like, mosses and stuff on the Creepers. To make Spanish creepers. talk about what cord killers was showing but uh they didn't do an episode today or yesterday hey. i don't know uh i know bryce was taking some time off in a good way like for for a variety of reasons they just ended up at a point where the producer bryce could actually take a week off um brian was slightly concerned about burning him out and given how much Bryce <laughs> makes pr makes the production happen, um, not burning out your producer seems like a very, very smart idea. Oh, it doesn't make an O anymore. Hmm? It doesn't make a surprise face. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> okay, bundles cannot get here fast enough. I, I'm seriously looking forward to bundles right now. Because my inventory. And this isn't even a big build. Like like I I no wonder why you see guys like Doc just throwing all sorts of stuff away to make room. 
Okay, maybe some of them get a little more wasteful than they should, but, uh... A little? A little. Just a little. Hello. Oh, my God. We have a rest again. Hey. No, uh -oh. except her mic is muted. Hello. No, it's not. Hello. Oh, it's not now. It wasn't before. I heard you say hello IRL, but not over the mic. I just didn't get close enough to the mic. Ah. Yeah, not too many people do. I have a unique problem that the pitch of my voice requires. A little bit more closeness to the mic than I think is intended. Uh, it depends on the mic. Some of them are meant to, are meant to be up close. Like the one you're using right now. The sad place is not loading. Which sad place? The nether. Is this off by one? This is off by one. This is off by one stupid block. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. That'll, uh... I'll make it work. Nobody will know. Even though I just said it live. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Nobody will know. Oh. I need... I need to finish working on... Uh, a resource pack that... That will add the various recipes for wood items to the stone cutter. So that way you can get slabs and stairs easier just by going over to a stone cutter. It's a saw. You should be able to cut it. Alright? No? Sure, totally. Yeah. Just rename it from stone cutter to table saw. And then let you cut everything down with that thing. Let it rip. Watch your fingers. Although, now that I said that, I just noticed that the hands you have in Minecraft don't actually have fingers. Not really. They're more like Muppet hands. I don't know that I'd go so far as to say Muppet, but... <laughs> okay, that, that's a little more patterned than I was intending. something about that later. Maybe. Possibly. No, nah, not likely. Alright. Um... What am I going to do with this space here?
I guess I should. I guess you should what? Um, complete a thought? I hear that's important. I help. It's not going to work at all. Nope, 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 nope. <sighs> if anything, that needs to be with. Yeah, we'll try like that. Dead piggies or the not so dead piggies that I get upset about box opening? The piglins, the ones that are not dead, get very upset when you open boxes. The zombie pigmen get upset when you mine gold. No, sorry, uh, when you hurt them. The piglins, the living ones, get mad when you mine gold and open boxes. There's a data pack that makes the <laughs> the dead ones get mad if you uh, uh, mine quartz when they're around. Oh. Yeah. That seems unnecessary violence. Yeah. It can be. Fireworks. Oh, over, okay. Over a, a large lava lake. Okay, that's the part I was missing. I was like, okay, so you you ran out of fireworks. I mean, you know, no big. Uh, and and then over to, a lava lake, uh, it's like, oh, oh no, 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 no. That's, yeah, that's I, was, I was able no to. Bueno. Um, I was able to uh, land on a very small <laughs> little islandy thing. To get me some more, so I'm good. Ah. Uh, beach duck. I have no idea what I'm doing. No, I, I'm trying to build a little enclosure around the potion brewing station, so it's not quite so. Eh. Yes. Technically, I. Oh, I need those slabs that I... Oh. Where are you? Um... Well... He would probably walk 5,000 blocks. We need to walk 5,000 more. Where did you go in the sad place? You talking to me? Yes. I'm not in a sad place. Well, uh, I mean, I no, just... medic is. No, 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 no. He, he, he said me, and I was like, I'm not in a sad place. Well, I mean, I'm feeling a little down, but you know, I'm not in a sad place. I had to go get some more uh, red. 
dirt. Fair. <laughs> Glad you like that beach duck. Where did Arcadius go? Question. at all. Neither are you. Oh, never mind. You were. Um. Hmm. Can you make the red another brick? Oh, that's not right. That's not right at all. Uh, use nether wart and uh, bricks. Nether bricks. Okay, nether... Yeah, th this is where I get kind of mad at whoever named things the way that they did. Nether brick as in the individual brick, not nether bricks as in what you're trying to make. And you mix two bricks with two nether wart to get red nether bricks. Because that ain't confusing at all. I need to burn the nether stuff. You gotta burn the nether rack to get nether bricks, or go to the pig trading farm and pick it up from there. Oh no, I just have an excess of nether rack. I was trying to figure out what to do with it. Uh, you can bring it out here to the to me. I can use it. Okay. Uh, hmm. Does anyone have any extra pretty boxes? Pretty boxes? Mm -hmm. I, I need more more information than just that. Shulkers. Uh, go fish. Oh, that was a bad idea. I mean, I'm sure we've got a bunch of extra shulkers floating around somewhere probably tied up in various things. We'll probably end up with a few dozen of them later. Interesting, isn't it? 
going to be interesting. <laughs> All sorts of stuff is going to be interesting. I guess we do have room for another act in the thingy. I can still bring it to you. Hmm? Well, if, if you're already there and you can just put it in the storage, go ahead. I'll get it later. Where are you at? Way out in Mushroom Island. I don't know how to get there. Uh, you follow the birch planks in the nether roof until you see the mushroom road, and then follow the mushrooms. That sounded kind of wrong. All right, go to the nether upstairs. And then follow the birch planks. Is that birch? That's like birch. Is that the ones that go to the witch farm. Uh, farm. Matter of fact, yep. if you're headed that way, uh, mm -hmm. grab a couple of stacks of mushrooms. And uh, start putting some mushrooms between the birch planks, so that way we know that that's a road, too. Why am I bumping? Am I flying? Ah, uh, you're lagging. Just a smidge. I don't like it. Here. Mushrooms. Put them in there. Even though you're going to... Okay. Because I need to figure out how to fix this first. How to fix it? Because I look like I'm flying. You don't look like it you're flying here. It looks to me like I'm stuck flying. Uh, yeah. Yeah, re relogging is probably going to be your best bet. Okay, I'll try this. Oh, okay, that's better. I still need to make that gas gear farm. That was on my list, too. Okay, so what did you want me to do with the mushrooms? Uh, put them between the birch planks like I started doing. So that way we could also remember that that is the way to the mushroom island. I also didn't I'm realize that the mushrooms would spread here on the roof. I kind of forgot that part. Oh. Maybe you so didn't need as many? Well, I was going to put a red and a brown in between each birch plank. Uh, you can harvest the extras, just know that they will grow back later. So, unless you really relish the idea of going back and... Or we just the... put carpet down around it. Uh... I mean, you could do that. That would kind of defeat the purpose of the way a lot of it is anyway. The main idea is to make sure that you knew that the Mushroom Island and the Witch Farm were this way. What about fishing line? String? Yeah, would that stop it from growing? Um, maybe. Well, we got other patches of mushroom up here too. Actually, this would probably be a good place to put that mushroom farm. I so don't need it, but I'm going to top off on uh, cook pork chop while I'm thinking of it. <laughs> we have so much pork chop. That's not even funny. Please, everybody go to eating pork chop. We got boxes and boxes and boxes of it. Pork chops. Th this, this is almost as bad as... Uh, the server we ran before season zero where I had that chicken cooker and it was spitting out cooked chicken faster than I could eat it. 
Yeah, that might have gotten a bit intense. And, it, and it, the thing is, it wasn't even that big a cooker. Uh, I just, you know, I built it a smidge too efficiently. All right, I tried to put mushrooms in between, but, but we didn't have enough. Give it time. There'll be enough. <laughs> I figured they'll spread a little, so yeah. that'll help. stuff when I'm here. Okay. Good. It is at least enclosed. I can finish dressing it up later. I wonder if I have to... Uh... No, no. Later. Well, no. Later. Um... And then I take it, follow the mushrooms. Yep. Follow the mushroom road. Mushroom roads take me home. Oh, wait, no, those are country roads. Although, I mean, I guess for some recording artists, uh, never mind. many people here uh yeah that's part of why <laughs> that, that's you're wondering why things were getting a little uh special and leg legalicious because um, there's a lot of entities over there where are you medic uh the far end of the island which end's the far one the one that's not near the near one and why are there only little brown mushrooms, not little red mushrooms? Huh? There are some. Okay. They'll grow back here, right? Mm -hmm. As if long as you leave at least one, uh, you have to have one that'll spread. There's a bunch of netherrack for you. Where do you need it? Just in any of those chests. Oh. Any extra red mushrooms? Yeah, come here. I'll show you where they're at. over here. I don't want to take all of them. 
No, it's fine. I can get more. Good. Anytime I harvest without a uh, silk touch axe, I get more off the mushrooms. <laughs> so whenever I clear another area. Wow, I can barely even fly out here. Mm -hmm. What's in the upside down pyramid? A funnel of water. I was going to start building farms on top of that. Ah. And having them drop into the funnel of the pyramid and down into the storage area here, which has been okay. overtaken by villagers. Iron golems and villagers. Which I still don't oh understand my? how they summon. There, there's nothing here to. Every time I come out here, there's more of them, though. They I like have to, you. Like, call the herd or something. Well, I mean. I guess I could lure, like, 11 of them over here to the field and, and have, like, all players out here. I don't know. Yeah, but you'd have to find some way to constrain them to the field, too. Well, um. Clear glass would work, wouldn't it? What, what, what are you using rods? for lines again? Well, right now I'm using uh, green and white concrete powder. But the issue with those two is I get this really nasty visual glitch that makes me kind of sick to my stomach. No, 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 no. no. For, for, the, uh, <laughs> for, the, for the outside lines. Uh, yeah. For the offside line, like the white lines. Yeah, white concrete powder. Okay, you, you just said green concrete powder. Oh, I said white and my bad. That's my fault. White and um, green concrete powder. Because what you could do is the double carpet trick. You you stack two carpets on top of each other, so the top carpet is at the level you want. And for whatever reason, the villagers won't path over the double carpet. They think it, they, they for whatever reason, they think they can't go there. What about the iron defenders? Or other mobs? Um, most other mobs should not be able to. Asterisk at all. I don't, I don't like how, you know, sketchy you say that. Let's just say. Well, I mean, I, I don't know about the iron golems. Three, four. Ah, centered. Um, that's more than I wanted. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing other than trying to get more light. More light where? Everywhere. I just need to put some shrubs in. Shrubberies make everything better. Right? Isn't that what Corrales is? Of course. Is? No, sorry. I need to make more bushes. Because bushes make everything better. But I gotta say it with a, a vaguely Swedish Polish hybrid accent. Okay, maybe that isn't vague. Yeah, I really enjoyed the <laughs> linguistics of hearing him after spending a break with his family. I really wonder how much yeah. of his personal communication is English. He was struggling with some of those word shapes. Oh, yeah. And that's even on, even on a good day. It's a struggle, apparently. But Well, English isn't exactly the most like friendly language. No. Uh, do we, what do we do? We have coarse dirt. Surely we've got some coarse dirt. What do we have for shrubs? Um, I need to empty some stuff out of my inventory. Space management. I've 
done some cleanup, and that was <clears throat> 37 ingots of iron worth of cleanup. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, course... Is that why I can walk again? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's still the mushrooms and the villagers, but... <laughs> oh, the, the, the villagers are... Let's grab some... That was just all the iron golems that were here. <laughs> Literally almost an entire stack of arrows. <laughs> oh, well. Birch. Uh, do we have core start? Oh, we do have core start. We got a lot more core start than I realized. Spruce. I think that was spruce. I try to roll my R's like Corrales does, but I can't do that for whatever reason. I just cannot do that. Takes practice. At least that's what my Spanish teacher always told me. Yeah. I had my doubts about that theory. Well, I never learned how to do it, so I mean... <laughs> <laughs> As I about to ask, did you not do well in that class? Well, uh, you know, details, details. No no need to go into them. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll just say that uh, I took three different courses, not including English. And only passed one of them, though. <laughs> Since I'm stubborn, I, I did two semesters of each, so... <laughs> I guess that's, what, six semesters of foreign language? <laughs> Let's leave that open there, and that open there. I just remember... Cockidius. <laughs> Estin Horto? <laughs> Horto? You're thinking in the dormitory. He was in the... Some kind of dormitory. It was something... The Estin slave. Horto. I thought that was a garden. He was in the garden. Oh, he was everywhere with her. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm... Really trying to forget Latin class. Thank you very much. <laughs> Salve. Salvete. Because you are many and I am one. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. It's how our high school Latin teacher started off his class. Yeah. You say Salve. I say Salvete. Because you are many and I am one. <laughs> it's an interesting person. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we can go with interesting. Interesting's a word. In <laughs> that's, interest. that's a word many people use. Uh, Reyes, you might want to eat something. Yeah, please. Oh. Way is almost mustard. I feel kind of bad. I haven't been keeping as up to date on a lot of the snapshots as I. Okay. 
So for 1.13, I think I like OD'd on every update video that was out there. And I got a little confused because I knew every change and every variant was having trouble figuring it out. Or trouble remembering which was the, ver the version that finally made it in the game. And then... 1.16... I dialed it back a lot, and there's like half the stuff that I'm like, I don't know, it's, it's something, 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 and something. Um, and I'm trying to find that balance between being reasonably informed that I can speak intelligently about what's going on, but not uh, over-informed. Can over Did you just say you're going to be reasonably informed on the internet? I don't think that exists. I'm sure it does somewhere. Right next to the unicorn. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I've got to finish. I'll, I'll finish decorating that later. It's at least less ugly. Mostly. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do to finish that off, but I'll do that later. Uh, what I need to do is what I originally said I was going to do, and that's build a farm. I just... I, mm. Maybe I'll grab my redstone box and just prototype something real quick. Because I saw... I saw another war farm that I was tempted to build. Okay. Should I build, it, assuming this works the way the way I, it should, should I build the nether wart farm over by where the potion brewing stands are, or over by the other uh, vegetation farms? And does nether wart technically count as vegetation? I mean, we got coarse fruit over here, so I'm not sure that, you know, that's a hard and fast definition in the first place. Put it over with the vegetation. Okay, so we have to haul the nether wart from over by the vegetation to over by the... Oh, all the way. Yeah, all the way over there. From here. You, like, wiped out all the red spotted plants here. So what? Well, the mushroom island is full of the tin mushrooms, but not the other mushrooms. If you put one or two down in different places, they'll spread out. Hmm. Where do I want to put this farm? Especially since I don't know how big it's going to be, and I, do, I don't even know if the, I want to actually build this one. So basically, I saw a few videos from different people saying, here's how to build this nether wart farm. And... I guess I'll do it over here. I'll do it next to the... By the it's sugar bone cane meal? Huh? Mushrooms, will they grow? Um... I don't... They'll grow in the trees. Yeah. Oh, um, what if I just want them to grow into more mushrooms? Then you yeah, wait. Yeah. I, I, don't like that I I know I know you don't like that answer. I was about to make a sarcastic joke about how waiting is uh not your strong suit. I know not of what you speak. Mm-hmm. Not a clue. Nope. have been waiting very patiently for certain things. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Like concrete but that's stairs. <laughs> no, no, nobody's, that. nobody's waiting patiently for concrete stairs. Everybody, you know, like, what if ore blocks actually dropped raw ore instead of itself? And everybody's like, concrete slabs and stairs. Well, what about if we also changed concrete slabs and stairs? 
But hey, we have this really cool idea for more variants of copper than we've... Concrete, slabs, and stairs. Is Do I have the community about pegged on that one? Yeah. Can you break mushroom blocks into... Mushrooms? Uh, with a fortune yeah. axe, I believe so. I'm like 80% sure. Oh, the melon farm's already uh, full again for a little bit. I'd started packing those down into melons so I, I can fill up the next shulker box full. Because I knew that uh, we were in need of emeralds for a while there. Alright. Let's set this down. Right there. I'm going to need some orange wool. I'm going to need... Oh dear. Uh, do we have more observers? Okay. We got observers. I don't think I have any soul sand. Right. If I were rest, I would put the soul sand there. We go. It's downstairs here. Hmm? <coughs> There's a hole in the ground on Mishm Island. Eliza. It depends on which hole you're talking about. There's glass down here. And dark rooms. Uh, then you are probably in the area that I made between uh, the underwater area between the Mushroom Island and my old base. Ah. It was just a little travel way for me and Arcadius to get back and forth to uh, see each other's bases back when we were I'm... out here permanently. <laughs> you should travel it. Droppers. Pretty cool. Droppers? Dispensers? Oh, well, I gotta finish placing mushrooms first. Who has such a long name up here? What do you mean? There's a name tag. Oh. oh. It's a guy with a sign. Mm -hmm. If only that was set into the mic. It was a guy with a sign, and it was set into the mic. No, he's talking about me. I had my mic off to the side. Anyway, it, uh, inch away from my mouth. Well, I need to. Anyway, um, there's a guy in here that's name tagged, uh, Welcome to Shroomtopia. Welcome to Shroomtopia. Right, let's put that there for now. This is a, a stupidly resource-intensive farm. However, it is something that you can just AFK at, which is kind of nice. It was nice. not a good early farm. No. I'm not even I'm not even entirely sure it it's a good farm. Period. But I'll get into that in just a minute. I want to build a prototype because I also. I don't entirely understand how it works. And I'm trying to figure out the last few bits that I couldn't figure out before. Oh, 
also I'm going to need to sleep in a minute. Alright, um... So you needed your soul sand, you needed your two observers facing that way, you needed your piston facing down, you needed two blocks to get powered, sleep on the idea, Then you needed a dropper facing upward with three random items, a dropper facing downward. Basically that all that's going to be is a counter. That part I got. And then we needed a comparator coming out the back, a redstone torch, and then a piston on top facing that way. A better jump than that. more observers and that one was going to face that way that one was going to face that way and that was going to go one two and that was pretty much the circuit if i managed to do that from memory and basically you would take this design and tile it as far as you want uh, the demo video did 10 of these slices, and after an hour of AFKing, only ended up with half a stack of nether wart. They expanded it out to 30 or 40 and got 100 or so from AFKing. The problem, the problem is that nether wart is not something you can fully automate the farm. Uh, it only grow, grows in soul sand. And when you place it, it's got to go through two stages, uh, well, technically three stages of growth. So, if I'm understanding this right, you put that there, that triggers the observer, which powers that block, which powers this dropper, pushing one of the three items up this way. And as long as there is an item in the bottom dropper, the comparator is going to keep that block powered, which keeps that torch off, which keeps that piston retracted. Uh, at some time, I really wish there was a way to speed this up. Uh, so you sit here watching the nether wart grow. It's going to get to its second stage, which is going to trigger that, which is going to power that, which is going to move the second item up. And then it's going to hit the final stage of growth, which the observer is going to trigger the observer. It's going to power that block, and it's going to move the third item up, which means this dispenser will be empty. Sorry, dropper. This dropper will be empty, which means this will no longer have a signal, which will unpower this block, which will power this torch which will extend the piston, which will trigger that observer, which will not power this block because we're using a repeater, which will trigger this guy, which will power the piston to break the nether wart. And by powering that piston, this guy is going to be triggered powering this block, powering this dropper, putting one item back. What I don't get is how the other two items get back. Although once there's one item back, that's going to power that, which is going to trigger that. Uh, oh, wait a second. 
when that hits the growth and it finally triggers that last little bit, this piston is going to go down once, which will trigger that. No. That getting powered once will trigger that guy. Retracting will trigger that guy. That still only gets you two items back in that bottom dropper. When does the third item get there? Mysteries. Yeah, because everybody just says, oh yeah, so you just uh, hold down right click, do the F3 and T trick while you go back and forth across this. And uh, they, they usually have some sort of rail going across the 30 or so slices of this farm. And not one of them explains how all this redstone works. And I, I, I understand about like... Seven eighths of it. I just don't understand when the last item gets back from here down here. Because again, when you go to plant the nether wart, you need to have three items in that bottom bottom dropper. Otherwise, the timing is going to be off, and you're going to end up breaking them when you don't want them broken. Help? Questions? Something? No? Nobody? All you heard was mumble, uh, mumble, mumble, redstone? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much where I'm at, bud. <laughs> Thanks. I'm over here trying to trying to think about whether or not I should uh, turn all this powder into actual concrete and just make it look like it's an astroturf field. Or leave it as powder. I appreciate the help. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you were straight up uh, Charlie Brown in it on me over there. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah. I think Riest has lost her mind. Why? She just walked up to me and said, why don't you just make it all out of shulkers? The I'm field? Like, An entire football field out of shulkers? Are you kidding me? Um. <laughs> Have you seen the size of this field? No. <laughs> That's funny. Cool. That's Look funny. It looked cool. That's really funny. You know, I'm, I'm, I can hear her saying that. I can hear you with your response, and then her response would be, and what? And... No, her response was a shrug. That's what her response was. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think I know how this works now. All right, so when that hits the third stage of growth and that third item goes up into this box, that turns that off, which unpowers that, which powers that, which powers the piston, triggering that guy. Because we've got that repeater on a delay, he's going to fire once when he sees it turned on, which is going to push that piston down, which means it's going to go through two state changes. And it's going to break the nether wart. So the first time it fires, it's going to power that block, dispensing one item back down. Then when it retracts, it's going to trigger that guy again, powering that block, dropping one item back down. By that time, that repeater should turn off, triggering this guy again, triggering two more fire... Or, Two more state changes in the piston, which gets the the last one and then an extra fire because, oh, yeah, no. okay, all right. No, 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 no. Yeah, hey, that that's actually pretty cool. I like that. All right. Um, how, how the big do I build this thing? The water breaks the the net. 
Huh? And it turns your concrete into like real concrete. Yeah, no, I was doing that on purpose. Uh, oh. I don't know that I like it. <laughs> Why? It doesn't look as grassy. Well, I mean, that's the whole thing, is I don't know that it should look like grass, since we're in the middle of a mushroom. I figured it would need to look a little more astroturfish, but... Mm. No, I, I like the it wrong way. the other way. Yeah. Powder. And now I need to go get more net from somewhere. Don't we have a spider farm? Yeah. But they don't make net. You gotta get that out of the mines. Yeah, they, they don't make the actual webs. Yeah. I almost wonder if that ought not be a uh, custom recipe sometimes. Or an actual in-game recipe. Uh, although, I'm torn on the idea of making well, everything craftable. Hmm? Nope, that's mine. Those are my friends. Oh, were, were you about to blame Rayest for uh, the phantoms? Oh, I guess yeah, it is time I, to I sleep. Did, I didn't blame her. I, all I said was, up oh, there is Reyes's favorite friends. <laughs> I didn't say she brought them. I just said they were her friends. <laughs> may not have invited them to the party, but they're her buddies. So when I'm here... Hey, buddy. You know, they sit around in their little phantom digs all day long, waiting for night to come, and then they're like, hey, you know, we haven't seen Race in a while. Let's go take pay her a visit. Yeah, she's doing. <laughs> we really miss her. I need a lot of droppers and observers. Yeah, I'm kind of torn on making everything craftable, or at least tradable, and um, and then having some items that you just have to go hunt down whether you want to or not. Does that make sense? Because on the one hand, it is a crafting game, so it yeah. makes sense that you should be able to craft things. But on the other hand, then why would you go anywhere if you can just craft it all? Well, you'd still have to go somewhere to get the materials, no matter what. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you would... Can you pick up all that stuff on the ground, Hunt? Mm -hmm. So, no matter what, you would still have to go... Uh... Oh. <laughs> I forgot that took two redstone. Y you will always still have to go hunting for some stuff. Like wabbits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's coming up in the next go-round, though. So you can get uh, the bundles. We should make a soccer ball. Yeah, I was trying to think of how to do that. I'm guessing several helmets on armor stands. It's just my best guess. Uh, or you can make the little patches with the armor stands and put them at angles. Alright, so that grew up, which means that should be one more away. Okay. Now, here's the other problem. All the nether wart farms that have some sort of automated harvesting system, like... I could have made a much simpler farm that just has water break this stuff instead of this elaborate piston design. But then it would be coffee craft. Um, well, no, no, no. The, the problem is uh, if you use a fortune axe or a, a fortune anything, you'll get more than if you let it just break because a piston broke it or water broke it or whatever. Um, I'm over-engineering it because it's me and I like over-engineering things. And, and I'm okay with admitting that. Clipped. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Please tell me you did that for real. 
I did. I don't even know how. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm not. You should go pick stuff up. <laughs> Working on here. <laughs> I forgot I need a bunch of random items. Dang, I completely forgot how to clip. <laughs> you are oh, so lucky. The moment's gone. Alas. The lake bore your... Last poor moment. Huh? I said the last poor moment. You knew it well? Yeah, yeah. I was about to go poor your, but... But anyway, so so part of the reason why you get so little from this method and a lot of the other methods that I'd considered and used in the past is, uh, well, it just it takes a lot. Uh, you, you don't get as big a yield per harvest as you could as if you went through with a fortune implement. On the other hand fortune implements require you to actually be a little more involved so it's not AFK unless you're you know you wait for it to grow and then run around with a fortune implement the reason we keep awkwardly calling it a fortune implement well because you could use an axe or a pickaxe or back. any of a number of different tools speaking of I have a question for everyone here speaking of tools uh, really? You'll find out in a second. Anyway, oh, no. um, so my question is, if you go in your kitchen mm -hmm. and you have a drawer that has things like knives and forks and spoons, but you're going to use a collective noun to describe the amassed things inside of that drawer, what would you call it? I feel like we're in the middle of settling an argument of some sorts, and I deeply, deeply want to not get involved. How, how do I play Switzerland in this game? You don't. So the only way to win is not to play? Because that's what I'm hearing. No, just answer the question. There is no argument here. Mm hmm No, there isn't. I just... It, I was watching one of those British versus English, and it was another one of those... Wait, I've been using the British word all this time, and I didn't even know it was the British word? Because I really never thought of the collective noun for that. Well, yeah. apparently it's flatware here, but I've always said cutlery. Silverware, typically, but I've always used the word cutlery since it's... So I was trying to figure out if there were other, other Americans who also used cutlery or if you were just the weirdos. No, oh, because it's cutlery. What else would it be? Apparently oh, silverware or butler. Silver but but the, way, the way you described that also mm -hmm. seemed like it encompassed more than just silverware. That's where my confusion was. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So you figured it out. <laughs> Doggone it. <laughs> what? Yes, I did. <laughs> what? You figured out how to make the yeah. clip happen. And it is perfect. Yeah. Magic. Only I, I didn't have the ability to delete stuff like that. Be a shame. <laughs> Not from the internet. That's okay. Cause it's no one can delete like anything from the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for helping me fix that rest. Seriously? So all that and I only got one nether wart back. Like, that. that's that's just all sorts of ridiculous. This is why you just go to the nether and harvest the red trees. Yeah, but if you don't plant them back, you run out of places to harvest. Um, there's only four members on this server. I mean, we've barely stripped a single desert. I think you'll be okay stripping one red forest. Mm, you say that. I'll remember that. 
You know, a lot of people of European descent started conversations that way. <laughs> I, I wasn't even going to go there. I, I truly was not. I don't think that went as well as you think it does. How many of these do I need to go try and pilfer for online? That's one. Do the red cows give you red mushrooms? If you <laughs> shave them with shears. <laughs> okay. And there's oh. only a chance for them to grow back into the mushrooms, though. Yeah, they may turn into regular cows. Oh, All they right, will so... turn into regular cows. They may turn back eventually. Oh. Then don't hurt the brown ones. They're harder to come by. No, you, you okay. just need uh, lightning. Uh, a thunderstorm and... Uh... Yeah, I don't have thunderstorms. <laughs> oh. He turned into a normal cow. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want that. That's what we just <laughs> said would happen. I told you. Yeah, but it was the first try. No. We told you he would. Definitely. Not maybe. Definitely. You have a non silk touch axe. Yeah. yeah. Go but cut it down one of those that red. Much. It didn't yield yeah. that much. Do you have fortune on it? Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out why I got the random sword that isn't netherite yet. Right. If I were a non, I would have put the redstone. I just got two Three, off that one block. One. Wait, that's a hoe, not an axe. Oh. Mm -hmm. that's Maybe you should use the hoe. <laughs> Night. I would like not to not have a surprise creeper come up while I'm in the middle of building redstone. Where'd the extra bamboo come from? Back in there. Yeah, I'm seeing a much higher yield off of a, a bow than an axe. Interesting. Uh, what okay. am I missing for the Did you get a meal of them? Yeah, I handed you all the ones I got. How many did we get off that one mushroom? Oh, 18. Need, uh... oh, here, why don't you put one down right here, and I'll go grab some uh, bone meal out of my bone meal in here, and composter, <laughs> and we'll try and see if we can't get more that way. What are you trying to By get? By the way, we're not deforesting the place, but we're still getting... Oh, oh, the mushrooms? Yeah. Oh, that was... That's what I did, mean, right? Yeah. Okay. One hit, there you go. You get the top. Now I got 31. That should be enough. We'll give that a go. Okay. Maybe I want a little okay. overkill on that. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for helping me with the field. Welcome. Uh, figure out what I'm going to do for stands. Stairs? Huge line of stairs on either side of the field. Mm-hmm. You should build some build elevated just like stands. like Scotland County. <laughs> no, that'd be concrete that was concrete that was great shelter that sure. one time there was a tornado you just randomly running around putting down red mushrooms Not randomly there's a very specific pattern okay 
Just, just check. Oh, over there? No, that was so that they would grow. Okay. Cool. I'm just happy to see mushrooms running around out here again. <laughs> had the population so high on that side of the island in the coop that I didn't see mushrooms wandering around out here for ever. Yeah, they'd lag out before they spawned. But we got that problem fixed now. That's good. Mm -hmm. Hello, villagers. How are y'all? I need one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen more red. Can you get me thirteen more reds? There we go. One of the reds so I can grow it, but yeah. Just grow one of the ones I put down. And then replace it. I shouldn't put any inside the, uh, over there. I built that way too close to the bamboo farm, but that broke, so I might have to move, tear that down and rebuild it again anyway. stock on the yellow wool or the orange wool okay where are you yeah top the upside down pyramid i also need to repair my mending shears I wish I knew who to uh, who to credit for this farm design, because I have seen I, I I looked and found it in at least a half dozen videos on the first page of search results for Netherwort Farms. Wow! And some of them were cross crediting other people. Like one guy credited the other guy who credited him. Oh. That's not how crediting's but I mean, at least they're crediting on the one hand. Well, but I'm also wondering if it's one of those things where he built it like five years ago and forgot about it and then saw somebody else's implementation of his design and went, oh, wow, that's cool. Looks strangely familiar, though, but, you know, that's cool. <laughs> and, yeah, irony abounded. I like the floor design down here. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Kind of love the look of concentration on the observers. That's how we do it. Oh, I was like, what is that popping noise? It's all the arrow guys that somebody has over here. Who, who has the massive Fletcher farm? Uh, give you a guess. It doesn't start with medic or rayist. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's not a guess. That's. I mean, I'm still also a little cranky about using all the lodestones for decorative, but that's because I'm me. Sources. Just leave that for now. And oh, I know what I could do. Uh, I need I need some rails. I'll probably end up moving that whole contraption at some point. 
just to somewhere that we could put it inside a building. I almost built it underneath the potion brewing station. I need some powered rail, some regular rail. Actually, I wonder if. Let's grab some, uh, redstone blocks to power it. Maybe take a, where's our spare minecarts? I know we got a box of minecarts somewhere. Box of minecarts and a barrel. Some starter another wart. I kinda hate that there's only thirteen stations over there. I'll have to even that up in a minute. You do that just to make me annoyed. Maybe. I, I can neither confirm nor deny. Shrooms pulled out of the area you're blocking out? Uh, yes. <clears throat> yeah, because it's going to be the, uh, the trees. Actually, just for kicks. I'll put a sign for Route 66. No. Uh, I'll put another barrel on the other side. After this quick nap. Snap brought to you by <laughs> Phantoms Creepers. This and nap is brought to you by, by your sponsorship here. Would you like to hear your custom ad read here? <laughs> I was listening to a podcast network that uh, I did not expect to hear that kind of an ad on, and I did. It was a sad moment. Because you didn't expect them to do advertising, or because uh, you didn't expect them to do whatever, mm, whoever? No, because I didn't expect them to have an ad about your ad here. Ah. Yeah. I expected advertising. I did not expect them to be so short on advertising that they ran one of those. Your ad could be here. Custom read by one of our hosts. Hmm. Yeah, that's... Not usually the, a healthy sign in in a network. Uh, normally. It wasn't a uh, amphibious network, was it? Hmm? Frogs are amphibious, aren't they? Yes, they are. Thank you. I think I'm not getting the, uh, the last one there. Mm. 
And the idea is you just kind of hold down the uh, right, right mouse button on AFK. However, uh, I may have gone a little ham with the. Uh... It also. That's okay. Uh, just be careful with the mushrooms because are the yeah these little mushroom things because they will grow to trees. Oh, I didn't put them down. I just bone mealed to yeah, get this know. stuff turned into it, and it popped up. Yep. You want me to it's pull okay. those out, or I think I need these uh, to run. The mushrooms, yes. The grass can stay. One more. One more block to either side. Gotcha. I'm going to need to go get some more this nope. stuff to finish the outline. Which one? The blue and the red. Well, I might be okay with the red, but definitely the blue. Uh, can you do the outline with just another rack, and I can spread it with uh, got plenty of another rack here. Yeah, possibly, if it works that way. Yeah, and we got tons of bone meal, so I can just spread it along the line. There it is. Oh, oh. Yeah, somebody, somebody will be very mad if that is not the same on either side. Okay. on people who like symmetry. That works. There's the extra. The space is intentionally left blank. What is the space? It's the air block that gets powered by the uh, observer that powers the pistons. Ah. I. It might work if there was a block there. I'm now kind of curious to find out. Because now that I think about it, that should work. Sit there. And I'm not gonna sit there on the minecart while I wait. All right. 
So far, so good. Still need to make the, the actual chorus fruit farm. We got the chorus flower farm there that hasn't been harvested in a while. I guess this is where all the farms that require <laughs> require some level of intervention go. <laughs> I need to make a I need to make a uh, cocoa bean farm. You have one. No, like like an actual farm. I think the only thing you can't do is replant them. Because uh, if you get a couple of them between two two pistons, you can actually set it up so that way there's a counter, much like this. So you'll have an observer watching one of the uh, cocoa beans. And it, it does the whole a similar counting system like what this does. And then when it reaches the final growth, it shakes the jungle log that it's sitting on, knocking the beans off into the collection area. The only problem with that is, again, much like the nether wart, you can't automatically plant the cocoa beans afterwards. Uh, unless something got changed, dispensers don't dispense cocoa beans onto jungle wood. That would be kind of nice. That'd be really nice. I don't know about that. I don't think it does. What? I don't think it'll dispense uh, cocoa beans. Oh, no. I, I know it doesn't. Well, okay. No, I don't know it doesn't. I'm, like, reasonably certain it doesn't. I know there was some talk a while back about setting them up so that way they would dispense, like, carrots and potatoes and that sort of thing. Um, so you could actually get a little more automation out of your farm. Or create some a wider variety of automated farms than just, you know, the villager goes and does it. <laughs> I almost wonder if there shouldn't be a, another type of villager for the, you know, these sorts of farms. Yeah, so somebody that actually handles the the like a, an exotic farmer, or I don't know, what, what what would you call somebody that farms Netherwort and Netherrack and and uh, like those kind of guys? So instead of having just the regular farmer do that, an illager, an illager? No, I don't want cranky employees. Uh. You have an employee that goes out into the middle of the nether to harvest stuff. Don't be cranky. Explore. Two, three. Yeah, see, I, I didn't. That that's that's my big beef is that uh, the automated harvesting it just it doesn't give you. You'll never get less than what you put into it. But there there's good odds that you won't get more so you'll all when it when the piston crushes this when water breaks it whenever anything other than a fortune implement is used you'll always get a minimum of one but uh the the odds for how many more you get beyond that are uh or not in your favor. And that bothers me. A little bit. A lot bit. That was a little bit more violent. Far away from expecting. one mushroom, can another one spawn? Table. Grab. 
Oh. We don't have a lot of brick, do we? I think I'll have to go trade with some villagers then. I need to get some more masons together then. We need to get a Masonic Lodge going. Take over my Fletcher Lodge and turn it into a Mason Lodge. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I'm, I'm so fed up trying to get the arrow I want from those people. <laughs> Which arrow are you looking for? Any damage arrow. Ah. Preferably in... Preferably insta damage or bald. Uh, that's right. Nobody, nobody deals in just potions, do they? Huh. I, I honestly think that there should be a alchemist um, villager, but there is. Yeah, but what would they do? Share the uh, brewing stand with the clerics? Well, that's the problem, is we would have to rearrange some of the people, like maybe move the... Uh... Or do we give the clerics more potions than just um, th than just the XP potion? The bottles of... Uh, the bottle of XP? No, we need the alchemist, and here's why. You were asking a little while ago about getting yeah. someone who harvests uh, netherwort. Well, an alchemist would have to. Because you need that for... But only if he's a full metal alchemist. Oh, that's really... The wrong game. <laughs> that was wrong unnecessary. My ears hurt. <laughs> Highly unnecessary. What? Here we... Angry piggies are angry. Probably opened a box near him. No. Yeah. They, they get angry about existing. a lot. They're just mad that they exist. This sounds like a, some people I know. <laughs> Work with? Who are you talking about? Also, this is a lot of string. Isn't that what you wanted? Yeah. Now the okay. mushrooms aren't spawning. Oh. You're seriously putting down all that string? Are we seriously bereft of string? No. Especially since we got the wool farm. some of this kelp. Make it into kelp blocks. Yeah. That's great furnace fuel. No, I'm just, I'm looking out from the Moose Trim Island and it's like seaweed fiasco going on. Oh. Yeah, harvest it. I'm sure somebody's going to need a, uh, a kelp infusion before too long anyway. Great smoothies. Actually, it's great teriyaki. I was getting ready to say, like now, now we're getting back into the conversation where I feel very conflicted about adding more types of food to the game. Like I kind of like the idea, but I don't like the fact that it doesn't. It's not a difference that makes a difference mechanically. But it, we have fish, we have kelp, we have dried kelp. So why can't I make uh, a, a sushi roll? Yeah. Get some raw cod and dried kelp and... First off, you wouldn't be using kelp or cod for that. You would be using salmon. Oh, that's right. No, no, no. I, I want the, uh, the wheat. And the co cooked cod, so I can make fish and chips. Yeah, exactly. Mm, <laughs> I just want to be able to make hamburger and french fries. 
Oh, we got the steak. We got the potatoes. I want this weekend for dinner. What? What? Fish, Fish and chips. And chips. <laughs> well, it actually does sound pretty good. It does. <laughs> All right, One well, let's call the stream. Let, let's uh, head on out to the beach, and uh, by 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 the time morning gets here, we'll we'll have some nice fish and chips. Although, I'd be surprised if a beach didn't have a fish and chip shack open up till like two in the morning anyway. They have a cookie place. <laughs> <laughs> It's called Insomnia Cookies. Yeah, I'm kind of glad there isn't one nearby. Alright, I'm more Me than kind of glad there isn't one nearby. Yeah, that would be a problem. Mm -hmm. But it is 914, so it might be time for the calling mm -hmm. regardless. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to let these last these last couple go. It might take some break. Just wanna use that to decorate this a little bit. Hopefully, I'd bring these out one more. No, because then I'm right up against. <laughs> oh well, I gotta fix the I gotta fix the bamboo farm anyway. I tried setting it to auto shut off, and that did not work. It did not work at all. And I don't know if somebody else was digging around in there or not, but I found a random minecart in there. And I'm wondering if I'm going to find the hopper that goes with that minecart somewhere. I, I just know that more is broken than what I know I broke. Unless you don't know about everything that you broke. Oh, no, no, no. That, that's something that I know I broke. Because you had to have dug up the sand to make that happen. By the way, Arcadius, uh, did you know <laughs> that there is a large ravine just underneath the Mushroom Island with a, uh, what do you call the busted up mine shaft? Really? Yep. That seems a little odd since I can't spawn any bad guys in it. Well, it might not be just under. It might be on um, the outskirts, but here, look. I, for, I forget where, but somebody had posted um, a Minecraft seed that had a Mushroom Island next to a regular island with... Uh, with a village and the portal like the 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 portal to the end was on the mushroom island which was attached to the island with a regular village okay now there's monsters here how do i get out of here oh where, where i'm at come on nope, you're almost right there Are you no longer on the Mushroom Island? No, we went out to see a little bit. Ah. Blind in here. Ah, there we go. There's it. Alright, the path to the Mushroom Island is mushroomed. Is mushroomed? <laughs> is mushroomed. Is that a word? It is now. Today's stream brought to you by Mushroomed. Yeah, so out of that line of 13 netherwort, I got 13 back. That is my one beef with these kinds of these kinds of farms. These shenanigans. Yeah. Yeah. 
So basically what you're saying is that my manual farm is better than your automated farm. I don't know. Depends on how you want to count that. Your manual farm is better on the yield if and only if you use a fortune axe or something to farm it. This is better fist. if you just want to start it up and walk away. Well, once I enclose it, it's better if you want to start it up and walk away. Yeah, I use my fist. Uh, no, then you're not going to get any better rates than this. You're only going to get better yield if you use a fortune axe or whatever. Like a fortune axe, a fortune hoe, a fortune something. The, the netherite fortune hoe with yep. mending? Yep. Is that everything? That's everything. Okay. Let me go ahead and get that going, because while I do all the editing and prepping everything to upload, I might as well run the stuff that's been waiting to get sorted. Alright, and this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. We do this every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, and this coming Friday I'm going to do another bonus Coffee Craft stream because Games Revisited is on a very brief break. I was not expecting Crystallis to be finished in four weeks. I expect I, I planned a little more time than that, but uh, plans. <laughs> Funny how they go. Or not. And after that, we're going to start trying on Fridays. Rayest will be joining me for that one because I am told it is a game best played as a party. So uh, look forward to that on Fridays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I keep intending to do some extra streams. You'll never know if I do unless you follow along on Twitch, so do make sure you follow there. And subscribe to the YouTube channel for the Coffee Craft replays, the Games Revisited episodes, and various and sundry other things that uh, pop up from time to time on uh, my variety style YouTube channel. So with all that out of the way, let me see who's on to raid. Don't have, well. All right, I guess I'm not gonna do a raid tonight. So uh, thank you, have fun, and I'll see you next time.